uh, after uh, finding the uh, total uh, z uh, thevenin by calculating in this fashion uh, we have to find out the equivalent uh, thevenin equivalent voltage so how we can find out find it out so uh, we have to get back onto our source uh, that means the source we have got back our source again our voltage source again then uh, we will see the open terminal in that open terminal uh, what will be the V thevenin or thevenin voltage equivalent voltage by just uh, activating the uh, voltage sources we will find out the voltage in the same terminal a b the same a b terminal are here so we have to find out here so uh, 70 75 20 degree 75 20 degree voltage 75 20 degree voltage 75 20 degree voltage okay uh, so when you have to find out the voltage through this uh, a and uh, b terminals uh, where we have uh, previously find out the z thevenin just activate the voltage now you can see uh, in this uh, loop in this loop the voltage across uh, z2 will be the key factor uh, because that is an uh, open circuitry so z3 will be inactive z3 will be inactive the voltage uh, will drop in z1 and uh, z2 so we have to apply the voltage divider rule v d R voltage divider rule to find out the voltage across Z2 and these voltage these terminals like this terminals will uh, clamp the voltage at A and B terminals uh, because there is no current will flow here only current will flow in this loop so the voltage drops uh, the responsible uh, impedances are Z1 and Z2 and the voltage drop in Z2 terminals will be the final uh, feminine voltage in that A and B points okay so uh, that is the most important part so that's a very uh, hazy scene so we have to just uh, remove some parts and just uh, again again uh, redraw the circuit to understand this okay that is the z1 uh, z1 and uh, that is uh, the uh, z2 and uh, after that uh, that is the uh, z as uh, the loop covers this and there is no current will flow through this part so the voltage drops across uh, these voltage I, I have again uh, said to you the voltage drop against the Z2 terminal is the key factor and uh, uh, these voltage will clump the hair too because uh, that is inactive part there is no current as we know there is no current will flow so no voltage drop will uh, cover the z3 so that is an inactive or ineffective part the effective part is z2 so we, as we know that is in z2 uh, the the voltage uh, drop against the minus uh, j4 that part you have to find out the voltage at that part so applying the voltage divider rule as we know that
that a uh, voltage div applying a voltage uh, divider rule <coughs> we know that this is source voltage and the voltage has been applied through this channel okay so the rule will be the voltage across this terminal that means uh, v z2 the voltage across z2 uh, z2 impedance okay is equal to the source voltage first of all uh, 75 20 degree okay 75 20 degree and uh, that will be multiplied multiplied that will be multiplied uh, to the own uh, impedance that means uh, z and the remaining impedances will be added in that loop z1 plus z2 so that is the rule a voltage divider rule to find out uh, the to find out the uh, the voltage across uh, this uh, terminal so that is known as a voltage uh, divider rule okay now just uh, practically apply this uh, rule uh, through here how you can apply uh, that's pretty much similar to apply this just uh, we know the uh, calculation okay so 75 uh, 20 degree is uh, multiplied is multiplied by uh, minus j4 j4 ohms means uh, 4 uh, minus 90 degree just convert it to the uh, phasor diagram uh, sorry phasor uh, form to find it easier then just uh, just add 6 ohm plus uh, j to ohm minus uh, j 4 ohm and uh, as we know the vz uh, thevenin is the actual v thevenin that we have looked forward here v uh, thevenin so we can write it now the v uh, thevenin here to find out this calculate these uh, things last of all we will get last of all we will get uh, the uh, result will be 47.4 uh, the phase will be minus uh, 51.57 uh, degree volt I have given you the responsibility to calculate it and uh, just check these answers are correct or not and just it's it's all your own responsibility to find it out now uh, that is the end of the practice problem there is a very simple practice problem but there are more issues will come forward In the next video i will give you some extended solutions about it thank you very much for being with me